some new research is allowing for better treatment for children born with a syndrome that does increase their risk of developing cancer. Dr. Guillermo D. Angula, who's a pediatric hematologist oncologist at Nicholas Children's Hospital, says this study and the findings will help pinpoint which of their young patients with Lee Frau Mini syndrome need closer surveillance and screening based on their individual risk factors. What they've done is they went to the area of the problem, the gene that was actually affected, and then uh, we call it genetic mapping, where they were then able to go and to look and see certain loci or certain changes of the actual gene, where they can actually then determine uh, subgenes that demonstrates if you have an increased risk or you have a decreased risk. Uh, the doctor goes on to say that researchers analyzed data from more than 3,000 patients with LFS to identify variants in the disease. And researchers have found that children exposed to secondhand smoke were more likely to develop rheumatoid arthritis as adults. Scientists analyzed data from nearly 91,000 female nurses and found that women who grew up in a home where parents smoked were 75 percent more likely to be diagnosed with that disease. Researchers didn't find any link, though, between smoking during pregnancy and RA. And more than a million, actually, Americans are affected by rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune disease that causes pain and swelling in the joints.